Chapter 3031 Young and Successful It was an accident, so they didn't blame Leng Yeking. Afterwards, they all sat down and Leng Yeking said, because my secretary was seriously injured, he can't come. This is my niece, Leng Xiaoyao. She will replace Secretary Chen and introduce the project to us. I know she's young and it's hard for you to believe her, but I promise she's no worse than my secretary. It was true that no one believed that such a young girl could do the presentation. After all, she seemed to be a high school student. Could she really do it? As a result, they felt disdained and were displeased. But Leng Yeking promised that this girl was no worse than his secretary, so they accepted it. Anyway, it was up to them whether to use their idea, so Leng Yeking wouldn't joke about that. Nice to meet you all. I hope you can give me the chance, Leng Xiaoyao said politely. Fine, we will give your niece a chance, manager Shin said, then he sat down in his seat. Although he was still slightly displeased. He understood that someone had to do the job if Leng Yeking's secretary was injured. After all, they were already here, so they had to be prepared. If they didn't give Leng Xiaoyao the chance, their time would be wasted. Therefore, Leng Xiaoyao began to introduce their idea. Although manager Chen understood Leng Yeking wouldn't fool them, they still doubted Leng Xiaoyao's abilities. So they were completely shocked after hearing Leng Xiaoyao's presentation. To their astonishment, Leng Xiaoyao was extremely skilled and made them feel as if it was an experienced designer talking to them. Looking at their shocked expression, Leng Yeking suddenly felt quite honored and believed that they would strike the deal this time. This girl is incredible. She gave an excellent presentation. Yeah. It seems that we took her too lightly earlier. I don't think she was just reciting the speech. She's very good at it. Dot. Everyone talked about Leng Xiaoyao's performance. After Leng Xiaoyao finished the presentation, she asked, Now, you can ask me questions if you have any. Very well, Miss Leng. I have to say that I took you too lightly earlier. I didn't expect you to be so good at such a young age. We're very satisfied, but I do have several questions. Manager Shen complimented Leng Xiaoyao sincerely. If Manager Shen's questions were very difficult, he did that, not to make it difficult for Leng Xiaoyao, but because Leng Xiaoyao's performance was completely beyond his expectations, so he wanted to know how much else she knew. After all, she could recite the speech, but answering professional questions relied on her real skills. Leng Xiaoyao perfectly answered Manager Shen's questions totally convincing him. He thought the idea proposed by Feng Shang design was flawless and he was even more impressed by Leng Xiaoyao. Most importantly, Leng Xiaoyao was very young. If Leng Yeking or Chen Yuxi did it, they would have been less surprised. Miss Leng, you're so young and successful. I thought you were reciting the speech, but I was totally convinced by your answers to my questions afterwards. Miss Leng, I believe you really have abilities and you're going to achieve a lot in the future, Manager Shen said. Thank you so much, Manager Shen, Leng Xiaoyao replied modestly. She was determined to make great achievements, otherwise her abilities would be wasted. She didn't want to live an ordinary life. Great, I think the deal is done. This is the contract. Executive Leng, you can read it. If there are no problems, we can sign it right now, Manager Shen said as he placed a file in front of Leng Yeking. Great. Leng Yeking was relieved. Although Leng Yeking was confident to be able to strike the deal even without Leng Xiaoyao, he was worried after the car crash happened. Luckily, Leng Xiaoyao was very helpful. While Leng Yeking was reading the contract, manager Shen chatted with Leng Xiaoyao for a while. Miss Leng, are you studying in a high school or university? Manager Shin asked. I'm a senior student in a high school. I'm going to write the National College Entrance Examination soon, Leng Xiaoyao said. What's your target university? What major are you interested in? Manager Shin asked. He asked Leng Xiaoyao these questions because he was curious about her. He had no bad intentions. After all, he was in his forties and his kid was a junior in high school. Leng Xiaoyao had totally amazed him and he wished his kid could be as excellent as her. I plan to apply for the capital university to major in economics, Leng Xiaoyao said. She made up her mind in her previous incarnation. If she couldn't do it in the previous incarnation, she would do it in this life. You must be excellent at studying, manager Shen said. I'm not bad. Leng Xiaoyao replied. She didn't say more. 
because it was unnecessary. After reading the contract, Leng Yeking saw no problem, so he signed his name, finalizing the deal. Glad to cooperate with you. Glad to cooperate with you. In the end, Leng Yeking shook hands with manager Shim. After making sure of the date, I'll contact you again, Executive Leng, manager Shim said. Great. Leng Yeking said. After that, Leng Yeking and Leng Xiaoyao left. Manager Shin walked them out in person. When they got in the car, Manager Shin wanted to ask his secretary to help Leng Yeking, but Leng Xiaoyao lifted Leng Yeking up before he could say anything. Seeing that, they were all amazed once more. Jesus. Leng Xiaoyao looked weak, but was surprisingly strong. After helping Leng Yeking get into the car, Leng Xiaoyao got inside as well. Then they said goodbye to Manager Shin. Yay Oyao. You did a very good job just then. You really amazed them. Leng Yeking said. Although he knew the result should be like that, he was still very happy to see their reaction. Ha ha, I know, Leng Xiaoyao said proudly. There was no need for her to be modest in front of Leng Yeking. Chapter 3032 Fenyan Technology The manager in Yankian, who had made the deal with Jiang Wenglin, soon learned that he was caught. Yang Kinyun. Jiang Jinhu and another man were arrested. Although Jiang Guinglin harmed Leng Yeking because of Yan Qian, Yan Qian didn't order him to do that. Therefore, Yan Qian wasn't involved in the trouble. Before long, Yan Qian heard that Leng Yeking struck the deal with Dark Sing. They were unwilling to accept the result, but it was over so they had to face it. Dot. After Leng Xiaoyao sent Leng Yeking back to the hospital, she stayed there for a short while then left. But she didn't go back to the Leng family's mansion. Instead, she went to a cafe and ordered a cup of coffee, then continued to spy on Zaiki through the surveillance cameras. It was still early. Zaiki and Song Xiuyin were busy at work, so it was better to get evidence of their affair at night. Currently it was 4 p.m. If Leng Xiaoya went home, she would have to go out again once there was a clue. At that time, she would have to make up an excuse. Therefore, she decided to stay outside for a while longer, since it would be more convenient for her to take action if she got any clues. Song Xiuyin was in the company today, and Zaiki was also at work. In addition to investigate their affair, Leng Xiaoyao also checked the stocks. The stock Leng Xiaoyao bought was declining, and some people began to sell it, but it wasn't the best time yet, so Leng Xiaoyao remained patient. That wasn't the only stock she bought. She had bought several stocks, but invested more money in the one with the most potential. Leng Xiaoyao wouldn't just wait like that and do nothing. She also learned about the reason why the stock market was in turmoil. She found out that it was a business battle, but something hadn't happened yet, so she couldn't find out the truth. She only had the list of related companies. Even though she wasn't sure whether the final result would be the same. She wouldn't lose since she decided to buy the stocks. If anything went wrong, she would help them. It was very easy for a hacker to do many things with a computer. Leng Xiaoyao stayed in the cafe till it was time for dinner, then she ordered a simple meal. After eating, Leng Xiaoyao still saw nothing wrong with Song Xiuyan and Zai Qi. So while she was free, she read business news on the internet. In fact, she could start up a company in many industries but she was too ambitious to start from a small one. It was less exciting. Honestly, she made money much faster by gambling or rescuing someone than by building up a new company. Therefore, if she was going to start up a company, she would run a large business. As Leng Xiaoya read the news, she noticed a company. It was a technology company called Fenyan Technology. It wasn't large and the registered capital was only 5 million yuan, but after three years, this company developed well and had over a hundred million yuan in assets. It had a lot of fame in City Chang. However, it was in a financial crisis at this moment. The three partners had conflicts and one of them withdrew money, which caused an ongoing project to stop. Now they had to pay a large amount of money as compensation, and had to sell the company. If not, they wouldn't have enough money to pay the compensation. Suddenly, Leng Xiaoyao developed an interest in this company. She was a hacker and couldn't be more skilled at information technology, so it was a very good choice for her to join this industry. She had played a game that came made before, and it was very popular. Now she could directly make the same game. It would probably be popular too. After that, Leng Xiaoyao collected information about Fenyan technology, 
then learned it was a company with a simple history and she could buy it. Without delay, she wrote down the manager's phone number and made a call. After a moment, her call was answered by a man. Hi. The man opened his mouth first. Hi, is this the manager Mu of Fenyan Technology? Lengxi Oyao asked. Yes, I'm Mu Yufan, who is this? The man answered. Well, I just read that Fenyan Technology is on sale. I have an interest in your company, so I was hoping we could have a talk face to face, Lengxi Oyao said. Really? When can you come? I'm free. Mu Yufan said excitedly. I don't have time right now. Can we meet tomorrow when I'm free? Lengxi Oyao asked. It was dark now, and she wanted to investigate Song Xiuyan and Zai Qi's affair first. Of course, no problem, Mu Yufan said. As long as there was a buyer, he was willing to wait as long as it was needed. They had released the news a month ago, but not many people wanted to meet him. It was hard to find a potential buyer. After the call with Mu Yufan, Leng Xiaoyao continued to watch Song Xiuyan and Zai Qi. At 7 p.m., Zai Qi finished work. She called Song Xiuyan, then directly went home. When Song Xiuyan received Zai Qi's call, he also left his company and went to her apartment. Leng Xiaoyao seized the chance and immediately packed up her laptop and set off for where Zai Qi lived. Before she took a taxi to the block where Zai Qi lived, Leng Xiaoyao went to buy a set of black sportswear a black baseball cap, and a mask. Black was easy to blend in, so she wouldn't be easily found. When she arrived at the block, it was about 8 p.m. By this time, the sky was completely dark. Song Xiuyan had gone inside at 7.30 p.m. and was still in Zai Qi's apartment. Leng Xiaoyao quietly sneaked into the block, reaching the building Zai Qi lived in. Because this was a new block, many apartments were still empty, which was convenient for Leng Xiaoyao to take action, but there were surveillance cameras, so she needed to destroy them before she climbed up. Chapter 3033 More and more impressive Leng Xiaoyao decided to climb into the building instead of taking the elevator, because if she wanted to see the inside of the room clearly, she had to do it. From the window, Zai Qi lived on the ninth floor, which wasn't too high. So Leng Xiaoyao easily climbed up, even if it wasn't the ninth floor, and was the ninetieth floor, it wouldn't be a difficulty for Leng Xiaoyao. After all, she wasn't an ordinary girl, but a cultivator. After easily climbing up to the ninth floor, she reached the window of the master bedroom. Although the curtain was closed, it wasn't tightly closed. There was a gap large enough to see the bed. When she looked through, Leng Xiaoyao saw them having sex in the bed. In fact, before she saw them, she had already heard their sounds. Without hesitation, Leng Xiaoyao took out her phone and filmed what they were doing. Although she knew Zai Qi had an affair with Song Xiuyan, she was still furious when she saw them having sex. What they were doing was humiliating Leng Yeking. After filming a few minutes, Leng Xiaoyao left. She only needed evidence to prove that Zai Qi was having an affair with Song Xiuyan. She was reluctant to watch them for a long time. With the evidence, Leng Xiaoyao decided to tell Leng Yeking about it tomorrow when she went to see him. It was cruel to let Leng Yeking know the truth, but it was crueler if he didn't know. Therefore, it was better to deal with painful things quickly. Once Leng Xiaoyao left, she returned to the Leng family's mansion. Back in the Leng family's mansion, Leng Yuki was still at the evening class, so Leng Cheng Yuan knew that Leng Xiaoyao had skipped the evening class. However, he didn't ask about it, because he trusted her. I heard you visited Darxing with your third uncle for a business deal. You did the presentation and amazed all of them. I heard that they thought you are very young and successful, Leng Cheng Yuan said. Honestly, when he heard the news, he was very surprised and excited. Unexpectedly, Leng Xiaoyao was good at business too. Hearing that, Song Mi was astonished. What? Leng Xiaoyao visited Darxing with Leng Yeking for a business deal. Leng Xiaoyao did the presentation and amazed all of them. They even said that she was young and successful. Leng Xiaoyao was good at business as well. Song Mi was still in shock since she heard that Leng Xiaoyao suddenly became good at fighting and studying. And now Leng Xiaoyao had made another achievement. It seemed she could do everything. Did Leng Yeking secretly train Leng Xiaoyao to prevent them from stealing Feng Shang design? Looking at Leng Xiaoyao, Song Me felt very threatened. Yeah, because Secretary Chen was seriously injured, I replaced him, 
Lengxi Oyao explained, Ha ha, great. Ye Oyao, you're becoming more and more impressive. I even wonder if you might know everything. Lengxen Yun beamed, I don't know everything, but I do know a lot. I won't deny it if you think I'm a genius, ha ha. Lengxi Oyao choked, half seriously. However, it was the truth, so she wasn't really bragging. Hearing that, Leng Cheng Yuan was even happier and believed her. However, Song Mi was jealous and anxious now that Leng Xioya became so impressive. Would Leng Yeking let Leng Xioya take over Feng Shang design? However, she was a girl who was going to marry into another family. If Leng Xioya took over, Feng Shang design would become another family's wealth. In that case, Leng Yakin should take over. Thinking of that, Song Mi hated Leng Xioya. Well, if Xioya can do business too, she can take over Feng Shang design in the future. Song Mi put on a fake smile and said, Leng Xioya understood what Song Mi was thinking. Since Song Mi wanted to know, she decided to be honest. Feng Shang design was built by my mother, but when Uncle Ye King took it over, it only had 50 million yuan in assets. Now it has over 200 million yuan in assets. The credit should go to Uncle Ye King. It has nothing to do with me. So, I have no qualifications to take over Feng Shang design. It should be Uncle Ye King's child who inherits it in the future. I'll take 12% shares at that time. I think it's already enough for me. With the dividend, I can get more than 50 million yuan every year. I believe Feng Shang design will become even more successful under Uncle Ye King's leadership. By then, I might even get 500 million yuan. Leng Xioyao said. Song Mi was extremely surprised. Surprisingly, Leng Xioyao didn't have the intention of taking over Feng Shang design, but it was true that Leng Yeking managed Feng Shang design very well, so it was successful now. However, it was Leng Xioyao's mother who built up Feng Shang design. Would Leng Xioyao really be willing to give it to Leng Yeking? If she were Leng Xioyao, she wouldn't, but since Leng Xioyao said that, she had nothing to say. Leng Cheng Yuan, on the other hand, was very comforted when Leng Xioya made that decision, because it was reasonable. He didn't have a bias in favor of Leng Yeking nor did he want to steal Leng Xioya's mother's property, but Leng Yeking had indeed spent a lot of energy in Feng Shang design. In order to take it over, Leng Yeking even gave up his own dream. If he hadn't taken over Feng Shang design that year, Feng Shang design would have been swallowed up or gone bankrupt. Therefore, according to Leng Xioyao's decision, both she and Leng Yeking could benefit from it. Song Mo said nothing else, and Leng Xioyao ignored her afterwards. She chatted with Leng Cheng Yuan for a while, then went back to her room. At noon, Leng Yuki transferred 10,000 yuan to her bank account, so it was over. But the grudges between them worsened. Even though Leng Xioyao had ended her engagement with Chu Jianan, she wouldn't allow Leng Yuki to get together with him smoothly. She would stop them, however, not because she still loved Chu Jianan. She ended their engagement because she had no affection for him and he had betrayed her. She would stop them from being together successfully, in order to pay them back for what they had done to her. If she hadn't gotten into Li Mushen's room by accident, she would have fallen into an even worse situation. Chapter 3034 Be friends with you. If she hadn't come back to this incarnation, then bygones could be bygones, but since she was back and even before the tragedy happened, she must do something. On that day, Leng Yuki and Chu Jianan would do the same thing to her, so they wouldn't let her leave a peaceful life even if she wanted to let them go. However, right now, she was angry with Zai Qi. -E. Luckily, the Leng family was unaware of Leng Yeking's romantic relationship with Zai Qi. -E. In fact, not many people knew about it. If too many people knew, it would be humiliating if the drama became a sensation. Now, they could deal with it secretly to prevent Leng Yeking's reputation from being damaged. Leng Xioyao's leave was over, so she had to go to school the next day. The majority of the school had lost interest in her total score in the monthly test but some were still discussing it. Especially when Leng Xioyao showed up, they would bring it up. At the gate of their school, Leng Xioyao met An Chen Meng, actually, An Chen Meng waited there for her. The moment Leng Xioyao walked over, An Chen Meng said, Leng Xioyao, I gave up, I don't want to join you, but I want to be friends with you. You can't turn me down this time. Why can't I? No, I don't agree, 
Leng Xiaoyao said at once. Hearing that, and Chen Min was embarrassed, but she wasn't surprised. However, that wasn't the answer she wanted to hear. Why? She argued. It's up to me whom I want to make friends with. It's not up to you, Leng Xiaoyao said. I. An Chen Men was struck dumb for a moment. She understood that she couldn't force Leng Xiaoyao out to be friends with her, but she really wanted to be close to her. What will make agree to be friends with me? An Chen Men asked. I don't know. It depends on my mood. I don't want to be forced to do it. The more you force me, the more I will dislike it, Leng Xiaoyao said. Afterwards, she ignored An Chen Men and directly walked away. Dot An Chen Men wanted to say something else but eventually said nothing, because Leng Xiaoyao plainly said that she disliked being forced to do anything. The more she forced Leng Xiaoyao to be friends with her, the more Leng Xiaoyao would dislike her. Boss, she completely ignores you. Why do you still want to get her attention? Leng Xiaoyao couldn't stand it any longer and criticized and Chen Meng. Right, boss, since she's unwilling to accept you, you'll only make a joke out of yourself if you continue. Another girl agreed. The other girls said nothing, but they had the same thought. They admired Leng Xiaoyao because she was good at fighting and studying, but that didn't mean they were willing to regard her as their leader. Since Leng Xiaoyao didn't hesitate to embarrass An Chen Meng, they became angry at An Chen Meng. All right, it's my business. You don't have to judge. An Chen Meng was in a bad mood, and was even more irritated when they criticized her, so she interrupted them and left. Boss. Lin Xiaoxia and the other girls immediately chased after her. They were displeased that An Chen Meng shouted at them, but they were angrier with Leng Xiaoyao. It was all because of Leng Xiaoyao that An Chen Meng shouted at them angrily. Even though they were mad at An Chen Meng, they didn't dare to show it. Besides, An Chen Meng always vented her anger on them, and they were already used to it, because Leng Xiaoyao carried a laptop with her all the time. It aroused other people's curiosity. Boss. Why are you carrying a laptop everywhere? Xun Mangxun asked, Right? Do you want to play games? Wu Min Min asked, I need to collect some information, said Leng Xiaoyao. She didn't tell them details, so they stopped asking. In the morning class, Leng Xiaoyao helped her classmates review as usual. When they had the morning classes, their head teacher directly let her do the job. Xun Mangxun and the other girls were slightly worried. Boss has been teaching us for a long time. Can her throat bear that? Why don't we go buy some medicine that is good for the throat for our boss after the classes? Wu Min Min suggested, great. Gao Lel agreed. It didn't damage Leng Xiaoyao's throat at all when she explained the questions to her classmates, but she was still very touched by her friend's care. During the break after the third class, Leng Xiaoyao called Mu Yufan, she asked him whether he had time at 12.30 p.m. If he had, they could meet in a cafe. In order to prevent other students from seeing her, Leng Xiaoyao chose a cafe further from school. It took five minutes to get the by taxi. Mu Yufan was waiting for Leng Xiaoyao's call, so he was undoubtedly free and immediately agreed. After the morning classes were over, Leng Xiaoyao directly walked out of school, because she couldn't help them review that afternoon, she told them beforehand. At 12.20 p.m., Leng Xiaoyao arrived at the cafe, where Mu Yufan was already waiting for her. Although the appointed time was 12.30 p.m., Mu Yufan couldn't wait. He arrived at 12.10 p.m., then went to a private room. At 12.15 p.m., Mu Yufan sent Leng Xiaoyao a message and told her the number of the private room he was in. So as soon as Leng Xiaoyao arrived, she went to the private room. Mu Yufan didn't come alone. There was another partner, Zhu Yangkai, with him. They were both 27. They were still young and graduated from the same university. They were also classmates. Because they were very close, they decided to build a company together after working in other companies for a while. Leng Xiaoyao knocked on the door. Mu Yufan and Zhu Yangkai knew that it was the potential buyer, so Mu Yufan got up to open the door at once. Zhu Yangkai also stood up and turned to look at the door. If he stayed seated when the guest arrived, it would be impolite. When Mu Yufan opened the door, he saw a young girl. He was surprised and thought that she must have knocked on the wrong door. Chapter 3035 Takeover Fenyan Technology 
he couldn't believe that the potential buyer was a girl who looked younger than 20 years old. Looking at Miu Yufan's shocked face, Leng Xiaoyao understood that he didn't think she was the potential buyer because of her age, so she opened her mouth right away. Manager Miu, I'm Leng Xiaoyao, I'm here to talk about acquiring your company. Hearing that, Miu Yufan rounded his eyes in shock. He thought this girl must have knocked on the wrong door, but unexpectedly she was here to talk with him about business. Although she was surprisingly young, he didn't shut her out because she sounded to be the same person on the phone. Therefore, Miu Yufan immediately moved away and invited Leng Xiaoyao inside. Please, Miss Leng. Then Leng Xiaoyao walked into the room. When Zhu Yang Kai saw Leng Xiaoyao, he was also surprised, but he heard their conversation so he knew that she came for business. Therefore, he didn't ask her questions. However, because of her age, they didn't think today's talk would achieve anything. They didn't take Leng Xiaoyao lightly because she was young, but it was hard for a young girl to manage a company. Though if she was a rich heiress and bought a company for fun, that would make sense, but since she was already here, they would treat her politely. Zhu Yang Kai greeted Leng Xiaoyao with a smile. Miss Leng, nice to meet you. Please have a seat. Leng Xiaoyao gave a nod, then sat down. Miu Yufan then asked, Miss Leng, have you eaten yet? Miu Yufan was sure that she was still a student, so she should have come right after their morning classes were over. Not yet, I came as soon as our classes were over. But I only need a simple meal. How about you? If you haven't eaten either, I can buy a meal for you, Leng Xiaoyao said. No, no. We can't let you pay the bill. We'll do that. We haven't eaten either. Miu Yufan declined at once. A simple meal only cost a few dozen yuan. They weren't stingy so they wouldn't let Leng Xiaoyao pay the bill. Great. It was little money, so Leng Xiaoyao agreed. She ordered spicy fried beef over rice. She loved spicy food, so she wanted it to be the hottest. In addition to that, she also ordered a glass of kumquat lemon tea. Miu Yufan and Zhu Yang Kai ordered slightly spicy meat and vegetables over rice and two glasses of kumquat lemon tea. After the waiter walked out, Leng Xiaoyao decided to be straightforward, so she directly said, I know you might be doubtful because of my age. You don't think I have the abilities and money to take over your company, but first, I need to let you know that I have the ability and money. In addition, I want to buy your company, not for fun but for serious business. When a teenager said that, most people would think she was joking and bragging, but they somehow felt Leng Xiaoyao was being very serious. In fact, they could see Leng Xiaoyao's determination and confidence. Only powerful people could be so confident, so it was hard for them to ignore her. Therefore, Miu Yufan and Zhu Yang Kai became serious too. However, I'm still a student now, so I can't manage the company in person. If I take it over, I hope that you all can stay in the same positions. I can be the boss behind the scenes. It doesn't mean that I won't do anything for the company, I'll be involved in the cases you're doing. In other words, you only need to obey my orders and do your work. And after I take over, I'll change its name. Can you accept that? Leng Xiaoyao said. Hearing that, Miu Yufan and Zhu Yunkin were astonished. She wanted them to stay in the same positions after she took over the company. That was good news for them. After they sold the company, they would have to look for a new job. Most importantly, they grew up together with Fenyan technology during the past three years. If they had to leave right now, they would be reluctant to accept it. Therefore, if they could stay, it would be the best result. However, Leng Xiaoyao also said she would be involved in the cases they were doing. Could she really do that? Before they knew her skills, it was very normal for them to be doubtful, but since Leng Xiaoyao said that, they couldn't deny her abilities right now. Moreover, it was her right to change the name of the company after she bought it, so they both agreed. It was a little sad, but the company wasn't owned by them any longer, so they wouldn't bother to keep its name. Well, if you're unwilling to accept that, it doesn't matter, because it's not a condition for the acquisition. However, you built up Fenyan technology and you've developed it for three years. I think you're better than newcomers, Leng Xiaoyao said. Miss Leng, we established Fenyan technology, so we cherish it very much. If we have to leave, we'll be heartbroken, so we're more than willing to stay if you allow us to continue to work in it. We will definitely do our best. As for the name, if you want to change it after you take it over, 
you can do so, it's your right and we can't interfere, we won't be unhappy either, but it's a bit sad, because we've spent a lot of energy and effort in building it, anyway, it's over now, and we accept the fact that we lost it, Mu Yufan said sincerely, right, but we don't know what you can do yet, do you have the ability to manage the company well, don't worry, as long as the company exists, we'll do our best for it, Zhu Yang Kai said, because he was unaware of Leng Xiaoyao's skills, he had his doubts, Leng Xiaoyao smiled and said nothing, then she took out her laptop and put it on the desk, actions speak louder than words, if you want to know my skills, I can prove it to you right now, hearing that and seeing Leng Xiaoyao's movement, Mu Yufan and Zhu Yang Kai knew that she was going to prove her skills to them and they were both looking forward to seeing it. Chapter 3036 Coercion and Bribery After Leng Xiaoyao turned on her laptop, she said, let me show you how I hacked into the system in Yufeng. You can watch from behind me. Yufeng was the largest technology company in City Chang, and was also Mu Yufan and Zhu Yang Kai's target. They knew it was too hard for them to reach that level, but it was good to have a target. Therefore, when Leng Xiaoyao mentioned Yufeng, both Mu Yufan and Zhu Yang Kai were shocked. Yufeng had the best defensive system, but Leng Xiaoyao said she could hack into it. What if she was caught? It could cause serious trouble. Miss Leng, are you sure you'll be able to hack into the system of Yufeng? Mu Yufan asked worriedly. If Leng Xiaoyao was able to do that, they would be convinced by her skills, but the problem was that they doubted whether Leng Xiaoyao could really do it. I know you're doubtful, but let's see the result. Leng Xiaoyao said, she wasn't angry that they didn't believe her, after Leng Xiaoyao said that, she immediately worked on her laptop, Mu Yufan and Zhu Yang Kai also didn't stop her, and only watched, Leng Xiaoyao didn't hack into the system of Yufeng right away, but gave a glance at the surveillance cameras above them, she moved her laptop aside and avoided the surveillance cameras before hacking, when Mu Yufan and Zhu Yang Kai saw how Leng Xiaoyao did that with her laptop, they were surprised, because Leng Xiaoyao was very skilled and quick, even they were barely comparable with her. A few minutes later, Leng Xiaoyao successfully hacked into the system of Yufeng. She also left a line of words in their system, don't be nervous, just a trial. After that, she stayed in the system for a minute till she was found. Once she was found, she left, so that they couldn't follow and catch her. Seeing that, Mu Yufan and Zhu Yang Kai were stunned. If they did that, they would be found before they even hacked in, but Leng Xiaoyao stayed in the system for a minute, it was amazing, that was amazing, Zhu Yang Kai exclaimed in shock, yes, it's unbelievable, Miu Yufan agreed, although it's not enough to prove my other skills, it's enough to prove that I'm familiar with IT, and I can honestly tell you that I'm also familiar with viruses, games, softwares and so on, due to the limited time, I can't prove it to you one by one, Leng Xiaoyao said, even though they didn't have much time, what she had just done was enough to convince them, Miss Leng, we believe you, right, you have the ability to hack into Yufeng, which is already beyond our expectations, Zhu Yang Kai and Mu Yufan were very sincere, so, what's your decision? Leng Xiaoyao closed her laptop and asked them, as long as you're willing to take over our company, we'll work for you. Mu Yufan and Zhu Yang Kai quickly made up their minds, but there is a question I want to ask you, actually, I've read information about the three partners of your company, you're very good at work, so, I want to know what happened among you, why did you cut off your close relationship? Leng Xiaoyao asked, hearing that. Mu Yufan and Zhu Yang Kai became angry upon thinking of their friend, the third partner. Our friend leaked one of our programs to another company, which caused a serious problem to our business cooperation. We have to pay a large amount of money as compensation now. And he did it for a woman. The woman formed a relationship with him for that purpose, but he didn't know. He's been completely fooled by the woman, Mu Yufan said curbing his anger, Leng Xiaoyao thought of Leng Yeking, although Leng Yeking wasn't trapped by Zaiki yet, he had let her touch important files of Feng Shang design because he trusted her, then the important files were stolen, how much is the compensation? Leng Xiaoyao asked, about 20 million yuan, because we need to pay the client and for the following damage, Mu Yufan said, about the acquisition of Fenyang, I'll give you two options, first, 
I'll transfer 36 million yuan to you as the fee. You'll work for me and I'll offer you a high salary. Second, I'll give you 26 million yuan and 20% shares. You can have a high salary and dividends every year. I'm going to invest 50 million yuan in Fenian, so it's a great deal if you can exchange 10 million yuan for 20% shares. I believe I can manage this company very well and you'll get more than just that at that time. As long as you're loyal to me, I promise I'll be very generous, Leng Xiaoyao said. Hearing that, Mu Yufan and Zhu Yang Kai were excited. They didn't hesitate and chose the second option. They had seen Leng Xiaoyao's skills, and believed that she would be able to lead the company to a better future. In addition, if they had shares of the company, they would work harder. Miss Leng, I choose the second option with shares, Mu Yufan said. Me too. Zhu Yang Kai said, great, but if you dare to do the same thing as Jiang Zesu, I won't simply let you go. Oh, I also need to tell you that I'm a Kung Fu master. I've learned Chinese medicine too. I can kill without anyone knowing it. Leng Xiaoyao spoke a little creepily, and scared them. They were surprised to know that Leng Xiaoyao had learned so many things, including hacking, Kung Fu, and Chinese medicine. They were scared because Leng Xiaoyao put a lot of pressure on them. They didn't doubt her words, because Leng Xiaoyao's attitude made them think she was serious. Chapter 3037 Find Nothing Although Leng Xiaoyao had read their information and knew that they were reliable, she just met them, so it was impossible for her to trust them unconditionally. In order to have their loyalty, she made full use of coercion and bribery so that they would honestly listen to her. Don't worry, Miss Leng, since we decided to work for you, we won't betray you. We were just betrayed, so we know how it feels. We also hate betrayers, Mu Yufan reassured. Right, but we understand that it's impossible to get your full trust yet. After all, we just met. Nevertheless, since you dared to hire us, we accept your threat. Zhu Yang Kai said, they weren't mad that Leng Xiaoyao threatened them, because their best friend had betrayed them. This was also their first meeting, so it was normal that Leng Xiaoyao didn't trust them and even threatened them. If Leng Xiaoyao trusted them at their first meeting, they would think that she was naive. Great, I hope we can grow to trust each other as soon as possible in the following cooperation. We can make the company better and better, Leng Xiaoyao said then reached out to shake hands with them. Miss Leng, when can we finish the formalities? Mu Yufan asked. In case anything happened, he hoped to finish it as soon as possible. Have you prepared the necessary certificates? Leng Xiaoyao asked. Sure, we brought them with us to finish the formalities once the deal was decided on, Mu Yufan said. Although normally people wouldn't finish formalities right after making a deal, and would usually take several days. Mu Yufan wanted to do it as soon as possible if he could meet a quick buyer. Coincidentally, Gunning was a quick buyer. If so, we can finish the formalities right now. However, before that, I need to see your company, Leng Xiaoyao said. She didn't have much free time, so it would be best if they could finish the formalities right away. She didn't want to waste much time on it. No problem. Mu Yufan and Zhu Yang Kai agreed. Afterwards, they went to the office building of Fenyan Technology. Dot. At that moment, the technology department of Yufing was a total mess. Their system was hacked, but they didn't notice that until a minute later and they could barely find any clues. What angered them more was that the hacker left a line of words. Don't be nervous, just a trial. Just a trial? How could the person do that to Yufing? After it happened, they did an investigation quickly, but failed to find anything. Therefore, they reported it to the technical director. The technical director couldn't find any clues either, so he reported it to the general manager. The general manager of Yufing was a young man who was not even 30 years old. He was also a skilled hacker, but he also failed to find any clues. As a result, he was extremely disappointed. Then he took out his phone and made a call. What's wrong? The person answered, Mushen, I just encountered trouble. The general manager said. The person he just called was Li Mushen. Li Mushen had shares of Yufeng, and he was also excellent at hacking, so the general manager had to turn to him for help. What happened? Li Mushen asked. Someone just hacked into our system. The person did nothing, but left a line of word. Don't be nervous, just a trial. Damn, 
how dare anyone do that to us, it's humiliating, the person did nothing this time, but what if something goes wrong next time, I failed to find any clues, so I have to turn to you for help, the general manager said, feeling deeply upset, even though he wasn't the best hacker, he was skilled and hadn't lost in a long time, but today, he felt frustrated, hearing that, Li Mushen was angry too, it sounded like a time bomb, so he had to stop it from happening, I just arrived at City Chang, I'll come to you right now, see you in half an hour, Li Mushen said, great. The general manager replied, knowing that Li Mushen was coming. He was very relieved, Li Mushen was a top hacker, once he came, the general manager believed that they would be fine, half an hour later, Li Mushen arrived at Yufeng, where the general manager had been waiting for him for a long while. The general manager went to the hall and waited in person, although Li Mushen was just a shareholder, he was a very important figure, they were friends, but he still needed to be careful. As soon as Li Mushen arrived, the general manager took him to the technology department. I had great confidence in my hacking skills, but now I feel heavily hit. Why didn't you have that feeling when you lost to me? Li Mushen asked, because I knew you were better than me, the general manager said. He admitted that Li Mushen was better than him, so he didn't feel upset. In the technology department, Li Mushen conducted an investigation at once, but he also failed to find any clues. The hacker is extremely skilled, leaving no clue, so we can't find anything. We must reset the firewall in case the hacker hacks in again. Mine is already broken. You can do it this time, the general manager said. He had no confidence in himself right now. Sure. Li Mushen answered, then started resetting the firewall for Yufeng's system. Li Mushen's skills amazed all the professionals, because he was even better than their general manager. They didn't dare to say it aloud, and didn't know Li Mushen's title. They only knew that he was their general manager's friend. Dot. At the same time, Leng Xiaoyao and the others arrived at Fenyan. Currently, only a few employees were there because many left after Fenyan was put on sale. There were eight employees who had a close relationship with Miu Yufan or Zhu Yunkai. Actually, they wanted to fight along with Miu Yufan and Zhu Yunkai, but it was useless. However, even though they failed, they didn't want to leave and decided to stay till the last moment. Chapter 3038 Not afraid of being overloaded. On their way to the company, Miu Yufan introduced the situation to Leng Xiaoyao. Leng Xiaoyao felt the eight employees were reliable. When Miu Yufan and Zhu Yunkai walked over with a girl, the staff were confused. Executive Miu, who is this? Everyone, please gather. I need to introduce someone to you, Miu Yufan said to them. Then they surrounded them. This is Leng Xiaoyao, Miss Leng. She's going to take over Fenyan. She plans to invest 50 million yuan in us. And we can stay and continue to work here. Miss Leng will also give us high salaries. She's also excellent at hacking. Young Kai and I have seen it with our own eyes. We believe Miss Leng can lead our company to a better future. Young Kai and I have made the decision to stay. We'll continue to be the general manager and general supervisor. If you trust us, you can stay with us. If you have a better choice, you can leave as you want, Miu Yufan said. Hearing Miu Yufan's words, all eight employees were shocked. What? This young girl was going to take over Fenyang? She also decided to invest 50 million yuan in it. Miu Yufan and Zhu Yunkai had seen her hacking skills and agreed that she was at a very high level. Miu Yufan and Zhu Yunkai decided to stay, even if they doubted Leng Xiaoyao's abilities because of her age. They trusted Miu Yufan and Zhu Yunkai, so they immediately made their decision after hearing Miu Yufan's words. Executive Miu, even though we don't trust Miss Leng, we trust you and Supervisor Zhu. Since you've decided to work for Miss Leng, we'll join you, right? So we'll stay with you, as long as Miss Leng is willing to accept us. We joined Fen Yang at the very beginning. We've worked here for three years. We love it, so we don't want it to go bankrupt. Yes, as long as there is hope, we won't give up. Dot. Everyone said they would stay which made Miu Yufan and Zhu Yunkai feel extremely touched. All eight employees joined Fenyan right after graduation. They were rejected by many companies before they joined Fenyan. Although Fenyan was a very small startup back then, they didn't disdain it. They were all full of passion, and believed that this was a great place for them to fulfill their dreams and potential. In fact, they made it.
but they hadn't reached the highest level yet. If Jiang Zesu hadn't betrayed them, they believed that they would reach their highest level sooner or later. Of course I'm willing to accept you, as long as you're self-motivated, hardworking, and loyal, I promise you'll have the highest salaries in the industry. Also, I don't want what Jiang Zesu has done to happen again, so you'll receive the most serious punishment if you dare to betray me, Leng Xiaoyao threatened. They immediately felt stressed, and became convinced that she couldn't be an ordinary girl. If she was an ordinary girl, she wouldn't be so skilled at hacking and able to invest 50 million yuan in them. After all, Fenyan was about to go bankrupt. Therefore, they respected Leng Xiaoyao. Miss Leng, don't worry, we won't betray you. Miss Leng, don't worry, we won't betray you. They expressed their loyalty one after another. That was their attitude but their actions would be more important. There is one important thing I need to tell you. After the National College entrance examination, I'll go to study in the Capital University, so the company should move to the Capital. If you still want to work for me at that time, you will need to move to the Capital along with me. What do you think? Leng Xiaoyao said, because that was what she had decided to do, she had to make it clear beforehand, so that they could have enough time to choose. Hearing that. Everyone was surprised, but their first idea was that they were afraid Fenyan might not be able to survive in the capital. They were willing to leave City Chang for the capital. Miss Leng, we're willing to go to the capital, because it used to be our dream, but we're too unimportant. I'm afraid we might not be able to survive in the capital, Miu Yufan said. They had talked about their dreams during the years. In fact, the capital was a lot of people's dream and they all wanted to have a career there. Half of them had studied in the capital, so they had a special feeling for it. As long as you're willing to move there along with me, I believe we can be successful. If we don't give it a try, how can we know? Leng Xiaoyao said. Great, we'll go with you. They were excited and couldn't wait to go to the capital. Afterwards, Leng Xiaoyao had a tour around the company then went to the administration for industry and commerce to finish the formalities. Because Miu Yufan had all the necessary files, it was done within a short time. They spent the afternoon on it, because it was a little complicated. After that, the owner of Fenyan became Leng Xiaoyao, while its name became Xiaoyao Technology. After that was done, Leng Xiaoyao transferred the money to Miu Yufan. They would sign the shareholders' agreement privately. Therefore, after they finished the transfer procedures, they returned to Fenyang and signed the shareholders' agreement. All of them needed to sign a new contract. The others didn't have any disagreements when they heard that Fenyang became Xiaoyao. They were the staff, so they had no power to interfere. Their salaries were raised by 5,000 yuan, which filled them with excitement. Their new boss was really generous. Don't be so excited yet, I raised your salaries because you're going to have more work. I don't have a plan to hire more people, so we need to do many things on our own," Leng Xiaoyao said, warning them to be prepared. Boss, we're not afraid of being overloaded. We're afraid of losing our jobs. They started calling Leng Xiaoyao boss now. Great. Currently, we don't need new deals. We should pay more attention to maintaining our good relationship with our current clients. But I don't think there will be new deals for the time being, Leng Xiaoyao said. It was true that no one dared to work with Fenyang again after what had happened. They were afraid that more dramas would occur and that the new boss might not be able to manage the company well. Chapter 3039 Successful Beginning After all, the drama just happened and Fenyang was seriously affected. It would take a long time to recover. If they did a new project and it became popular, they might gain people's trust again. So, I plan to do a new project to make CAO known to more people. I want it to be famous once the new project is out, Leng Xiaoyao said seriously. At the beginning, they still felt it was normal, but they lacked confidence when Leng Xiaoyao said that she wanted their company to become famous in the industry. They didn't think Leng Xiaoyao was bragging, because that was also their dream but they felt it would be very difficult. Leng Xiaoyao understood what they were thinking, so she said, I know your worries, but it's an idea I have had in mind for a long time. I wonder whether you can help me. What is it? They asked her. How much do you know about programming games? Leng Xiaoyao asked. Upon hearing that, they realized Leng Xiaoyao wanted to make a game, but that wasn't easy at all, 
so they were shocked. We've done several website games, but we've never succeeded in making mobile games, Mu Yufan said. They were involved in the technology industry, so they could make games, but they weren't skilled enough to make a good one. It's not a problem, I can do the programming and you only need to maintain it. I'll teach you how to do it later. I'll write down the story and characters later. You can get familiar with it first, Leng Xiaoyaus said. Hearing that Leng Xiaoyao would do the programming, everyone was surprised and amazed. Boss, can you do that alone? You'll be exhausted, Zhuyang Kai said worriedly. It took a long time to finish a single character in the game, and there would be at least a dozen main characters and some unimportant characters in a game. It was a lot of work. It's fine. Actually, I'm already doing it. Within a month I will finish all the characters. The programming should take about a month. After I take the National College Entrance Examination, it can be released. Leng Xiaoyao said. Hearing that Leng Xiaoyao could finish all the characters and release the game within two months, they were astonished. Even a team could barely do the work that quickly, but Leng Xiaoyao was alone. What surprised them more was that Leng Xiaoyao was still a student and that she was going to write the National College Entrance Examination soon. In that case, how did she have enough time to make the game? Normally, Senior high school students would feel they didn't have enough time to review. Even though Leng Xiaoyao told them that she was already coding the game, they still felt it was unrealistic to finish it within two months. Boss, if you're going to take the National College Entrance Examination, do you have enough time to make the game? Mu Yufan asked. Yeah, you need to go to class and review. You can't neglect the exam because of the game. Zhu Yang Kai said, he was worried about Leng Xiaoyao's study. No need to worry about that. Even if I don't review, I can easily get a total score of 700 points. And I study hard in class. I only make the game after class. You don't need to worry about me. I know how to handle it, and I never do things if I don't have the confidence, Leng Xiaoyao explained. If she was an ordinary girl, she wouldn't dare to say that, but she was a cultivator. It wouldn't affect her at all even if she stayed up all night. In fact, Leng Xiaoyao stayed up all night to make the game after the evening class was over. Sometimes, she asked for leave. She could also stop helping her classmates with reviews on weekends once in a while, then she had two more days to make the game. The others were still worried, but since Leng Xiaoyao said that, they said nothing else. After all, she was the boss. If they argued against her, it would be disrespectful. All right, it's late now. You can get off work and go home now. Manager Mew, you can pull me into your WeChat group. If you have any questions, you can at mention me on WeChat when I'm absent. I'll reply to you once I read it, Leng Xiaoyao said. Sure, Mew Yufan agreed. After that, Leng Xiaoyao left after Mu Yufan gave her the key to the office building. When Leng Xiaoyao was gone, the staff didn't leave right away. Instead, they cleaned the floor and left an office for Leng Xiaoyao. Mu Yufan used to be the general manager, so he had the largest office. Without hesitation, he moved out and left it for Leng Xiaoyao. Then he moved into the office of the deputy manager, where Jiang Zesu used to be. After that, they talked about what Leng Xiaoyao had told them. Hey, do you think the boss can really do what she said? I can't believe it. Yeah, I trust her, but I don't think it's possible. I also think so, so I'm slightly worried. Dot. All right, no need to be so worried. I believe our boss can do it. She's so impressive. Even if we fail, we can try again till we succeed. I don't think we'll lose anything if we can't finish the game within two months. We can just postpone it, Mu Yufan said. Hearing that, the others agreed and stopped being worried. The boss said that she'll give us high salaries as long as we work hard and stay loyal, but if any of you dare to betray the company, I believe she'll punish you seriously. I hope you can keep it in mind. Young Kai and I will do the same thing. If the company can develop better and better, it'll be good for all of us. Otherwise, we won't be able to live a good life. Anyway, we need to work for our future, Mu Yufan said. Manager Mu, we'll do our best. We'll never betray the company. Everyone promised sincerely. Chapter 3040 Be honest with Leng Yeking, after Leng Xiaoyao left. She didn't go to school, but to the hospital. Anyway, she had asked for leave. At this time, it was about 6 p.m., 
so she had a meal before going to the hospital. There was a nurse taking care of Leng Yeking, so Leng Xiaoyao didn't need to worry about him. In Leng Yeking's ward, Leng Yeking was on the phone with Zai Qi. Leng Xiaoyao didn't fear she would interrupt them and directly walked inside. Seeing Leng Xiaoyao walking over, Leng Yeking panicked a little. He quickly finished his call with Zai Qi, then hung up. Hey, you look so happy on the phone. It seems you're in love, but I foresee that you shouldn't be in love this year because you can easily be trapped by bad people. You might be ruined by a woman. Leng Xiaoyao joked, but suddenly became serious. At the beginning, Leng Yeking felt a little guilty and thought Leng Xiaoyao noticed that he was different. If she continued to ask him about it, he wouldn't keep it a secret from her any longer, but in the end, Leng Yeking was upset. However, he wasn't mad at Leng Xiaoyao and simply thought she was joking. Oh, you can foresee what will happen in the future? Leng Yeking asked curiously. Of course, so I'm not joking with you, Leng Xiaoyao said. Hearing that, Leng Yeking was unhappy. He understood that Leng Xiaoyao wouldn't lie to him. Was there really a problem between him and Zai Qi? If you don't believe it, I can elaborate on that. Zai Qi is your girlfriend, right? You've been in a romantic relationship for two months and a week. Leng Xiaoyao said straightforwardly. Leng Yeking was surprised. It turned out that Leng Xiaoyao knew everything. Since she knew, there was no need for him to keep it a secret. In addition, he wanted to know why Leng Xiaoyao said that. Yes, how did you know that? I told you I can foresee things, so I foresaw it too. And I know you met each other at a party. In the beginning, you were merely strangers. You got familiar during the events afterwards. You exchanged phone numbers and WeChat accounts. Gradually, you were attracted to her. You felt as if you had a lot of things in common. As time went by, you fell in love with her and you started dating. Three months later, you confessed your feelings for her, Leng Xiaoyao said. Right, but... Leng Yeking didn't think Leng Xiaoyao foresaw all of this because she told so many details. It seemed as if she knew something, so he asked, Are you sure you foresaw everything instead of knowing something beforehand? Fine, I didn't foresee that, but I found it out. You know I'm good at hacking. When I met her the day before yesterday, I knew there was a special relationship between you, Leng Xiaoyao said. She couldn't tell the future. So it would be embarrassing if she lied that she could and was asked to do it again. You secretly investigated us? Leng Yeking was angry, feeling as if his privacy was invaded and his dignity was damaged. At this time, Leng Xiaoya became serious. I did it for a reason. You're my third uncle. I wouldn't invade your privacy for no reason. Hearing that, Leng Yeking forgave her but also realized that it wasn't so simple. What's the reason? Leng Xiaoya was anxious, because obviously it had something to do with Zai Qi. Otherwise, Leng Xiaoya wouldn't have done a thorough investigation about them. However, he didn't want it to be related to Zai Qi. They just became girlfriend and boyfriend and he didn't deeply love her yet, but he sincerely liked her. He didn't want their relationship to go wrong. It's not good news for you. So I didn't tell you right after I found out the day before yesterday. I didn't want you to be hurt, affecting the business meeting which would be the next day. Leng Xiaoyao said, I told you that you shouldn't fall in love this year, or you would be hurt and ruined by a woman. I meant it when I said that, because Zai Qi formed a close relationship with you for a purpose. What? Hearing that, Leng Yeking was shocked. He subconsciously wanted to argue against it. But upon thinking of Leng Xiaoyao's hacking skills, he realized she must have found something. However, it was still hard for him to accept. What's her purpose? Leng Yeking asked. I want to ask you a question first. You must be honest with me, Leng Xiaoyao said, not answering Leng Yeking's question right away. No problem, Leng Yeking said. Have you had sex with Zai Qi yet? Leng Xiaoyao asked, facing his niece. Leng Yeking felt embarrassed, but still answered honestly, not yet. Knowing that, Leng Xiaoya was relieved, then she continued. You didn't want to, or did she not want it? I didn't want to do that yet, because I didn't feel our relationship was stable enough yet, Leng Yeking said. In that case, Leng Yeking was a real man. What's your relationship with Song Xiyun? asked Leng Xiaoyao. Upon hearing Song Xiuyan's name, Leng Yeking was displeased. We had a fight over a girl during the last semester in university. I broke one of his ribs, 
but he started it, I tolerated him again and again, but couldn't stand it any longer, so I fought against him, although his rib was broken, I also had a concussion, I lay in bed for three months before I made a full recovery, after he finished, Leng Yeking suddenly realized that Zaiki might have a relationship with Song Xiuyin, so he immediately asked, does Zaiki have a relationship with Song Xiuyin? Yes, Zaiki works in Song Xiuyin's company, she's his mistress and pawn, Leng Xiaoyao said, Zaiki was Song Xiuyin's mistress because Song Xiuyin was already married, therefore, their relationship couldn't go public, what? Leng Yeking was extremely hurt, it was impossible for him to accept that, he had no idea how it became like this, it had been years, but now it seemed that Song Xiuyin harbored a grudge against him and even arranged for Zaiki to form a close relationship with him in order to get revenge, 